Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach. I'm really pumped about today's video because I feel like it's going to add value to you. We're going to get some tips and tricks on how to read tables in the NEC. And we're going to specifically look at our dryer demand factor table. So anytime we come to a table in the NEC, we are going to read the black bold heading to make sure we're in the right table because there are many tables in the NEC that look identical, but the values are different down below. So we could be in a table because it looks similar and get the wrong information. So always read the black bold heading before you even look at anything else. This says demand factors for household electric clothes dryers. Great, I feel like we're in the right table. Now, reading our table, we always read our tables from top to bottom and left to right using the black bold headings to navigate the table. So starting on the left-hand side is going to be our number of dryers. Then using left to right method, we're going to read our demand factor in percentage, which remember is just a multiplier. So starting on the left-hand side, we select our number of dryers. We come over and we tee off with our demand factor. So let's imagine that we have seven dryers. So we start on the left-hand side and we come down to seven. Now, one of the biggest tips I want to give you is always use a straight edge. It's very easy to come over and end up with the wrong value. So you always use a straight edge. So you find your number of dryers on the left-hand side. Then you come over and tee off with your respective demand factor. So if we had seven dryers, the demand factor is going to be 65%. So this is how we look at and use table 220.54 our demand factors for household electric clothes dryers. I hope that this video added a little bit of value to you and then you will in turn go out and add a little bit of value to someone else. I am the Electrical Code Coach and I've dedicated my life to help you become everything you can be in life and in business. If there's anything you need from me, you can always email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.